Hello, and welcome to another section of the A2 Library tutorial series. This tutorial is going to be a short one and is going to focus on how a reviewer or a supervisor can either approve or reject a student submitted work. Step one, you have to log in with your institutional email address and also your password. Step two, right at the corner over here where we have the profile, there is a drop down. Click on the drop down. Now, click on my this piece. Right below the show, we have a drop down over here. By default, you're going to see your submissions. Go ahead and click on the drop down and select workflow tax. So, for now, these are the works under my session that I must review that is going to approve or reject as a reviewer or a supervisor. To view the work, Go ahead and click on view. Scroll down. Click on download to download the file. So you can go through the file to decide whether to approve or reject the work. That is what we have over here. Go back. This time around, we are going to approve or reject. It means that we are done going, we are done going through the work. Now to either approve or reject, go ahead and click on claim. Once you click on claim, just wait for some seconds. Now you have approved, reject, return to pool. Return to pool basically means that um by clicking on it, it means you come back and check the work. You are not going to work on it right now. What do we see over here? Once you click on approve, the system pushes the work, moves to drip. If drip is also checking the formatting, clicks on approve, and that is all. Now the student will get an email notification informing him or her that your work has been approved. Once you click on reject, you are supposed to provide reasons why you are going to reject this particular work. So describe the reason of reject. You do that, then you click on reject. Okay, this is very a short tutorial and we are done. Thanks for watching this tutorial.